SRF, an Indian multinational with diverse business interests and a footprint across the globe, impacting millions in every aspect of their lives. But at the heart of our success is the legacy of our organization, built on the dreams of one great man, Sir Sri Ram. Sir Sri Ram was born on April 27, 1884, knighted in 1941. Sir Sri Ram was a leading industrialist, yet remained modest throughout his life. Sir Sri Ram had three sons, Murlidhar, Bharatram and Charatram. Born with an innate sense of curiosity, Sir Sri Ram liked to call himself a karma yogi. Work was his religion. The 1909 report of the directors of DCM mentions Sir Sri Ram's coming on board at the young age of 25. Sir Sri Ram was driven by a strong belief that an organization's strength is in its employees. He was never one to exploit his workers and dealt with them with utmost empathy and respect. The workers enjoyed a warm personal rapport with Sir Sri Ram, who in turn participated in and celebrated festivals with them. Before the First World War, DCM Limited had its share of ups and downs. However, Sir Sri Ram, being the visionary that he was, understood the relevance of huge demand that would arise from the military for textiles to make uniforms and tents during the war. The First World War changed the company's fortunes beyond recognition. And it was during this time that Sir Sri Ram convinced the DCM board to set up a second mill. But that could not have happened without a buy-in from the workers. So he encouraged the workers to buy DCM shares, which were yielding 28 to 50 percent dividends. By the spring of 1923, a quarter of DCM was owned by the men who worked for it. Sir Sri Ram's business philosophy was simple yet effective. He would say, the key to success in business is to produce goods of the highest quality at the lowest price. This would expand the market, keep the customer happy and make the businessman rich. Between 1930 to 1940, DCM had diversified into sugar, light engineering, ceramics and other products that catered to the varying needs of India. During this time, Sir Sri Ram also set up the Lyalpur cotton mills, which later went to Pakistan at the time of partition. He continued to guide the affairs of the mill even though it was certain that he would not get a single paisa out of it. Lyalpur cotton mills was Pakistan's first and biggest mill. It was also the training ground for a whole army of textile technicians and managers. In a way, Sir Sri Ram was the father of the Pakistani textile industry. In 1945, the year the Second World War ended, DCM Limited's net worth had more than doubled. It was during the war years that Sir Sri Ram forayed into chemicals. During partition, when the country was brutally cut into two, Sir Sri Ram emerged as a great humanitarian. Many of those displaced from Pakistan came to Sir Sri Ram for financial help. They knew that he was saddened by their plight and was their last resort. Ever the practical man, Sir Sri Ram did not dole out arms. Instead, he gave loans to those who had the plan to put it to good use, with no intention to ever charge interest. On Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru's request, Sir Sri Ram took on the assignment of running and rehabilitating the public sector unit Sindri Fertilizers. He turned it around with his astute business acumen, analyzing costs threadbare and suggesting ways to reduce them. Sir Sri Ram was a modernist. Familial responsibilities had kept him from completing college. Yet he knew the importance of education, especially technical education for India's progress. During the prime of his career, he set up the Sri Ram College of Commerce SRCC in 1926 and the Sri Ram Institute for Industrial Research in 1947, which started functioning in 1950. At a time when society did not offer women the freedom to pursue their own dreams, he established one of India's few all-women colleges, the Lady Sri Ram College for Women LSR in 1956. Sir Sri Ram ran the colleges with the same passion as he ran his companies. 
Sir Shri Ram encouraged his daughters in law Sheila, wife of Dr. Bharat Ram, and Sumitra, wife of Charat Ram, to pursue their passion in the field of art and culture, which led to the establishment of Sri Ram Center for Performing Arts and the Sri Ram Bharatiya Kala Kendra. Sir Sri Ram also encouraged his daughters in law to support artists who later became icons of Indian classical music, including the late Bharat Ratna. Pandit Ravi Shankar. Sir Sri Ram was the founder director of the Reserve Bank of India. He was also the first chairman of the Industrial Finance Corporation of India, IFCI, Independent India's first developmental finance institution. Back in the early 1920s, Sir Sri Ram was elected the vice chairman of the Delhi Municipal Committee, the highest any Indian could reach in those days. In February 1930, Sir Sri Ram became the President of the Federation of Indian Chambers of Commerce and Industry. He organized the Swadeshi Prachar Association, which drew up a list of mills that did not use imported yarn and stamped their produce as genuine Swadeshi. Sir Sri Ram was one of the seven architects of the Bombay Plan of 1944-45, which was a blueprint for the first independent government to follow an economic growth path. When Sir Sri Ram passed away on January 11, 1963, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru was one of the first visitors to his residence. He put his arms around Bharat Ram, Sir Sri Ram's second son, and said in Hindustani, Bada mukammal insaan tha. No ox bridge, no eloquent speech. This one came straight from the heart. By that time, DCM had become the fourth largest group in the country. After his death, DCM continued to grow rapidly and began to sell products like urea and rayon tire cord under the Sri Ram brand. In 1970, Sri Ram Fibers, now known as SRF, was incorporated as a new company, which turned out to be one of the most successful ventures of the group. SRF came under the management of Dr. Bharat Ram and his second son Arun Bharat Ram. The company has 14 manufacturing facilities across the globe that include 11 plants in India and 3 overseas plants in Thailand, South Africa and Hungary. Today, the beliefs and vision of Sir Sri Ram live on, inspiring every SRFite to always find a better way. SRF, saluting the legend, celebrating our roots. Thank you.